Hey guys and welcome to our Living in London series. I'm CJ and Melody's behind the camera. If you're new to this series, we go around London and rate in different places of how good they are to live in. We rate each of these areas across six key metrics. We give them a score out of 10. And at the end of the video, we're gonna give it a total score to tell you how good of a place this area is to live in. You're probably wondering where we are. We are in Balham in the heart of Southwest London. Fun fact actually, the world's first pedestrian crossing was used in Balham. Starting off with transport, Balham is on the Northern Line. That means it has its own tube station, which is quite unique for an area in South London. It also has a rail station as well, which can get you to Norwich Junction, as well as Victoria as well. There's a host of buses around and it's really well located in between Two Inn, Clapham, and Wandsworth as well. It takes about 18 minutes to get to Bank, if you didn't know that, from Balham Tube Station. So for this reason, we're giving this area a seven out of 10. So in terms of leisure, Balham has a leisure centre, two gyms, a library, and it is a short commute to Clapham, Tooting, and Wandsworth Common, which are open green spaces for you to enjoy with your family and friends. However, because Balham is quite small and doesn't have as much leisure activities, we will be rating this category a five out of 10. So in regards to schools, Balham has around two nurseries and about three primary schools. One of them, St. Anselm, was rated an outstanding by Ofsted. And it also has Chestnut Grove Academy, which was rated good. That's a secondary and a sixth form. It also has St. Francis Xavier, which isn't too far from here, which has a capacity of over 1,000 people. So for this reason, we're giving this category a six out of 10. So for crime, Balham, compared to its nine neighbourhoods surrounding it, is ranked seven out of 10 for its violent crime and six out of 10 for other related crimes. However, shoplifting is the most common form of crime in Balham. So for this reason, we are giving Balham a six out of 10 for crime. So in regards to retail, Balham has a lot of ethnic diversity, so it's no surprise that there's a wide array of cuisines in this area. It has the recently opened trap kitchen for your soul food needs. It also has Gale's Bakery, which is a national chain of bakery stores. In regards to supermarkets, it has a Sainsbury's, an Aldi and a Waitrose. So you can see that there's something for everyone, regardless of your budget. It has a Pizza Express and you can see behind us that there's a, a Vietnamese street food place. This area has quite a lot of retail choice. So for these reasons, we're giving this category a six out of 10. Okay, for housing costs, if you're looking to rent a one bedroom apartment in Balham, you're looking at £997 to £1,650 per month. And if you're looking for a three bed property to actually buy, you're looking between £575,000 to £1.2 million. So for this reason, we are giving Balham a 7 out of 10. So guys, for the grand finale, the grand total and the final score for what we recommend Balham is like to live in is, drum roll please. <laughs> It is 37 out of 60, which places Balham at a rating of good. I hope you guys enjoyed this Living in London tour. Please comment down below whichever you want us to review next. And yeah, make sure you watch one of our other videos and give us a like and a comment down below. And we'll catch you later. Bye.